The City of Marshfield Common Council had a short meeting Tuesday night. There was a first reading of Ordinance Number 1476. It's a rezoning of property located at 1401 South Apple Avenue from SR4, single family residential, to TR6, which is two family residential. City Planner Stephen Wiley addresses the council. The current owner would like to sell the lot. Um, he and his wife have owned and maintained it. Um, they've had a garden and a garden shed on there. But other than that, it's been vacant for a number of years. In looking at it, um, we were able to support the zone change request because we look at the surrounding zoning, the future land use recommendation, um, and just make sure that it can fit within the surrounding neighborhood and the comprehensive plan. In this case, it does. Um, the future land use recommendation is medium density residential, which allows for three to 10 units per acre. Um, so it's kind of a mixture of densities that would be permitted. Um, and that would fit with a number of single and two family residential districts. There are some two family districts or two family zone parcels, I should say, just across Apple to the southwest of the sub subject's property. And then there's also a few that are interspersed in the greater neighborhood um, here and there. So it would not be unprecedented in this area to have two family zoning for this parcel. We did have a concern from one of the neighboring parcel or property owners to the immediate east. And she was concerned primarily with the potential for a duplex to go in there and just the view of that and not knowing who might move in. I did try to assure her though that um, she that anything that would go there would have to meet um, setbacks and meet the zoning standards and staff would re review anything that would be developed on that lot. So plan commission did recommend approval. Obviously tonight we're not recommending any action for this because it's the first reading, but just wanted to get that on your radar and it would come back at the first August council meeting. Director of Communications Tom Lauks provided a report on electronic notification system that will be used by citizens to receive push notifications on their mobile devices. Let's hear from Tom. All right, uh, what I wanted to talk about is our city notification sign up, uh, which is push notifications. And a while back, Alderman Witzel had mentioned, we, we need to look at ways uh, to get information to the resident instead of the resident coming to us for information. A resident can sign up for information getting pushed via a text or email. It's very easy, all you have to do, and this is the homepage of the city website, ci.marshfield.wi.us, and you can click this here, and it'll take you to a notifications page, and this is where you can sign up and get your electronic notifications. You can either do email or text, or you can do both. And uh, what I'll show you here is this is where you would put your email address and then it would give you access to how to do that. And what you can see right now, I only have a few topics in here. The ones we have are cancellations and closures, city news, which is our news and events section. That's where press releases would go, uh, other items of, of interest that need to get out to the community. And then city alerts, which is something that would be maybe like a snow emergency uh, that would be put in the bottom corner of our website. It also could alert you uh, via text or email. Thank you for telling us about this. Um, for Parks and Rec, this will be great. I'm just wondering if when people sign up for sports events or get a pool pass for the summer, if maybe they could get something handed to them to say, hey, um, this, you, if you sign up for this, you're going to find out that the pool's closed or that your, you know, your soccer event will be canceled because of weather. But if they would somehow know, because it's a great service. Our next regular scheduled Common Council meeting is going to take place on August 9th, a Tuesday at 6 p.m.